Hello everyone, welcome back to more Magical Diary. Hello. So for the first week, I think we're going to try testing out our limits like Horace was talking about. Can <laughs> we really not do anything and get away with it for an entire week? Let's do it. There's only one way to find out. All right. <laughs> we're going to sleep the entire week and see what happens. Is this going to be a good idea? Yes. Mm, I'm not so sure. Sleeping reduces stress. Yes, that's very true. Oh. Oh, what? We do have some kind of event happening. In the late afternoon, I'm sitting on my bed with a magazine when I hear a groan. Who's groaning? Oh, it's Virginia. Ugh. She drops her notebook on the floor, causing it to shed a couple of loose pages. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Just school. She falls backwards onto the bed and kicks off her shoes, letting them arc off in different directions. I hate school. Sitting still, taking notes, listening to lectures about things I know already or never need to know anyway. Blech. Yeah. Well, you don't have to go to class every day. <laughs> like us. You were taking it easy today, huh? Anyway, it's different for you. If I goof off, my brothers will catch me. Not that I care what Donald thinks. Of course, you haven't made that clear enough yet. But William is different? Oh, yes he is. He's a good guy. He's always looked out for me. Where are you guys from, anyway? Massachusetts. Oh no, not this part again. <laughs> Salem? Horace, why would you just make such an assumption? That's just silly. <laughs> No, Springfield. But were there really witches in Salem? Sure, there still are, but I know what you mean. A lot of magical people are really connected to their homes. We tend to build a tower and defend it. If things go wrong at home, you fix them. Not so keen on moving. Build a tower? Is that some kind of metaphor or something? Virginia doesn't seem too understand. smart for metaphors. <laughs> They're physically building a tower? I don't know. <laughs> no. Whatever. When things go bad for witches and wizards in Europe, they just hid better. They didn't go to America with the early colonies, not in big settlements anyway. Of course not. Who would want to go with the pilgrims? And no wizards from Africa went there at all. So the only proper magical people around were the natives. And by the time of Salem, they didn't want much to do with the colonists. <laughs> uh, yep, I guess so. Then um, a couple of kids came out wild seed and there wasn't anybody to control them. Uh. So the witches they hanged were real? No, Horace. Didn't you ever read The Crucible? No. It was only those kids who were witches, but they didn't know it. When they started doing real magic, they were just as scared as the village people. The village people? Oh no, I the I didn't know they were people. known for being scared. <laughs> so they blamed other people when the preachers told them to, and it was the other people who got hanged. Hard luck on them. Anyway, we have schools now, so that sort of thing doesn't happen. What a relief. I guess it's important to go to school, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm glad we learned that life lesson. <laughs> the more you know. Yeah, and meanwhile, we're not going to go to school for the entire week. Well, that was a quick week. I'm lying on my bed doing absolutely nothing, which is pretty much what I've done all week. It was a luxury at first, but by this point, <laughs> I'm honestly sweet. getting bored with it. So when I hear a knock on the door, I'm hopeful that it's somebody else bored and looking for things to do. Who could it be? Who's going to be bored and looking for things to do? Yes. Oh, well, that's not who I was expecting. Miss Harrington, what an unexpected occurrence it is to see you. There was the possibility that you had chosen to slink away quietly in the night. Since you certainly haven't bothered to turn up for any classes. Uh. If it were up to me, Miss Harrington, I'd simply complete the process that clearly suits both our desires and expel you now. But, in accordance with Academy rules, I am required to offer you a chance to redeem yourself. A chance which you will no doubt squander as you do everything else. Wow, he really judges wow. us pretty harshly. It's only he's our known first us. Week. I know. I mean, we had we have been slacking off. I'll give him that, but yeah, it's a rather quick assumption to jump to, especially since he did it the first day we met him. I know. Just because he bumped into him, and because of wild seed. I wish there were anything I could say in my own defense, but he's right. It's a waste to come all the way to a magical school and then not bother to go to any of the magic classes. Really? How many magical schools do you get invited to? Therefore, I am assigning you ten demerits and detention tomorrow. Oh no! Oh. Detention. Did we ever have to go to detention at all in the last playthrough? I don't really I don't remember. I think so. Should you choose to ignore this summons, summons, he says, <laughs> then our business here will be concluded. If that is your desire, then by all means, continue on your current course. Ooh. I wanted to explore the opportunity to design my own education, like Professor Potsdam said, but this wasn't a useful choice to make. There's nothing to be gained from it. But how was I supposed to know that I'd get in trouble? Nobody told me. Sure, it was a silly thing to do, but it's not fair to punish me for breaking the rules if I didn't know what the rules were. Does the game end if you, like, do it again? I think it actually does if you choose to sleep in for, like, another week or so. Wow. Yeah. Have you anything to say for yourself? 
Uh, uh, it seems like horse would be the type to try to bluff her way. <laughs> would that actually work? I don't know. Let's see. I know I'm in the wrong, but I don't like the way he tries to intimidate me. He's a bully, and I'm not going to cower for him. No, sir. Everything is going according to plan. He blinks. If you indeed do not wish to remain here, there are faster methods. That isn't my plan, sir. I see. How unusual. I got a weird. <laughs> he thinks we're weird. Well, well, horse is a bit weird. I'll admit to that. Ha. If he can't think of anything snarky to say, he's at a loss. Good day, Miss Harrington. He heads back down the hall, probably in search of easier prey. I love how we're always Miss Harrington, too. I know. Grabby. But tomorrow, I'll have to face detention. Oh, no. I don't um, know, guys. Have you ever gotten detention? What's the worst detention you've ever had? So, I don't know. What kind of detention do you think Horse is going to end up having? Magical detention. <laughs> okay, of course it'll be magical. We're at a magical school. I'm awakened early on Saturday morning by a tap at the door, followed by a faint hissing sound. What's going on? When do we have to serve our detention? Now. Oh. Saturday. I stumble out of bed to find that three envelopes have been pushed under the door to our room, each marked with one of our names. Ooh. Hey, money's here! Yes, money. We get our allowance. Each envelope contains $5, the weekly spending allowance for Iris Academy students. Rolling in the dough, huh? If it's our money, why can't they just give it to us all at once? Because they don't trust us because we're just kids. That's why. I guess they don't trust us not to spend it all at once and then run out and complain. It's because of people like Virginia, basically. <laughs> Well, that might teach people to plan ahead. This way still teaches people to plan ahead. If you want to buy anything really cool, you've got to save up. But you're missing the important part. It's Saturday, and that means a trip to the mall. I didn't think you were a shopaholic. I'm not, but it's great to get out and look at something other than school for a while, isn't it? Well, I guess so. Also, they have ice cream and penny candy and really big cinnamon cookies and... And food, yeah. We sure. get the idea. Since I've been there before, I can show you guys around. Mm. What about studying? You have plenty of time for that during the week, right, Horace? Well, actually... I'm sorry, I can't go out today. I got detention. Oh no, what did you do? Didn't go to class when I should have. Now I'm stuck with... with grabby. Ugh. Ooh, tough luck. What ill feet. Well, there's always next week, and you'll have more money by then, too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> It doesn't really matter, but it's annoying to be stuck here on the very first weekend while everyone else is out having fun. <laughs> well, maybe not everyone. I arrive at the detention room precisely on schedule. Another student is already uh -oh. there, scowling at a blank pile of paper on the table in See, front of I him. See, I told you he'd be here. I knew it. And of course, he's here. Miss Harrington, so pleased you could join us. Yes, sir. Please leave the room for a moment, Mr. Danson. I need to speak to Miss Harrington privately. Oh no. Wait in the hallway and do not wander. Wander. The boy rolls his eyes and walks out, leaving his papers on the table. Now it's just me and him. Oh no, us and Grabby. Alone, what's gonna happen? I hold my breath, expecting another scolding, but the professor turns away from me without speaking. With three twirls of a dial, he opens one of the lockers at the back of the room and reaches inside to pull out a single red candle. This is your detention. The candle? He sets the unlit taper on the table. When it has burned down, you may leave. Okay. I wait for a moment, but he only folds his arms and looks at me. Um, I don't have a lighter. Oh, no. I Horace. think that's the point, Horace. This candle can only be lit by magic. Look at that smirk. But I don't know any... Smirk continues to intensify. What a pity. Further demerits will be assigned if you damage anything else in the room in your attempt. Like if we set fire to the building? Oh no! Should you manage to set the entire room on fire, you will be expelled. And that will be the end of it. I suggest you get started. That's not fair. Well, life's not fair. <laughs> I seat myself at the table as Professor Grabiner goes to let the other student back into the room. The other student? You mean Donald? What am I supposed to do now? I know it's possible to do magic without any training. I did it when I was 13, but that was completely accidental and I couldn't control it. That's why they sealed my powers until I was old enough for school. Hmm. If I try now and I get it wrong, I'll be kicked out. If I don't try, I'll never complete my detention. That horrible man would probably be happy to keep me here until I starve. Well, he might just do that. Well, William dried the water off Virginia with blasts of hot air. If I try to make hot air, then even if I make too much, it shouldn't burn anything. And if I can get it under control, then maybe I could focus it to make fire? 
Are we going to be like, uh, what's his name on the island? Tom Hanks. <laughs> Can Horace make fire? But I don't know exactly how to get started. Hmm. We're at a loss. Ten minutes later, I'm still staring at the candle, not making any progress when I hear someone clear his throat. The professor stands. Uh-oh, what's going on? I will return shortly. Carry on. <laughs> Whoa, he just zipped out. <laughs> he zips out of the room, and I let out a long... <sighs> the boy across the table blinks at me. Sorry. You're Virginia's brother, right? What a terrible memory we have. We didn't do anything all week. He's the only person we met, basically. <laughs> One of them. I'm Donald. Do I know you? Oh, he has a terrible memory, too. I guess so. Well, I saw you on move-in day, but we haven't really met. I'm one of her roommates. Oh. There's an awkward moment of silence. Well, I should get back to this. What are you doing with that thing, anyway? I'm supposed to light it with magic. That's easy. Yeah, but I haven't been to class yet. That's why I'm in detention, so I don't know how. Would we really learn how to set things on fire in the first class I don't anyway? think so. I'm not sure. I feel like we didn't learn that till, till uh, like a while in the last game anyway. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm here because I set someone's hair on fire. Just a little bit, so it's easy. Watch. Uh-oh. He points his finger at the candle, and the wick catches fire. <sighs> Problem solved. Thanks. But isn't that cheating? And... It was lit with magic. That's all he said you had to do, right? I guess so. What about yours? What do you have to do? Can I help? Ha! <laughs> As if I need help from you. You're the first person I've met who's even dumber than me. Wow. What? Well, thanks, Donald. You're not even smart enough to screw things up right. Cutting class is nothing. The Great Williker once filled the entire cafeteria with a lake of cheese. The Great Williker? <laughs> Williker. Oh my god. She Willikers. That's all I'm thinking of. <laughs> I don't want to screw up right. I was just testing my boundaries. Testing my boundaries. Yeah, sure. And then we hear the sound of the door opening. I look quickly back and forth between the professor, the candle, and Donald, wondering if he's going to turn me in. But he looks back down at his papers and starts scribbling. Um, sir, the candle's lit. May I go now? Horace, I thought he said it had to go all the way down. Yeah, Horace doesn't pay any attention. When the candle has burned down, Miss Harrington... That could take hours. I think that was the point. Perhaps you would care to assist Mr. Danson in his efforts. I don't need her help. In that case, she may read. I didn't bring... He opens one of the cabinets, pulls out a thin book, and hands it to me. A Beginner's Guide to Magic. Oh, that could be helpful. Read quietly, and mind that the candle doesn't burn anything. I'd better not waste this chance. Ooh, Ooh. we got points. Well, that's that's pretty more than we could have gotten, right? Oh no, Potentially. we could have. You can get anywhere from one to three points if you take a class. And you can even fail some, so... That's true. Yeah, that's about average, I guess. I spend the rest of the day studying. Magical knowledge and stress increase. We only got one point of stress for all that, so that's actually not that bad. Yeah. On Sunday morning, I sleep in. There aren't any school activities today that I know of, and I haven't made plans with anyone, so there's nothing else to do. See, gaining detention actually pays off in this <laughs> game. Which just makes me realize, I miss my family. Oh, Horace, this oh. is the first of many I miss my family moments. I'm not used to being completely out of contact like this. There aren't even any phones in the dorm, so I can't call home. Dad promised he and Mom would write, but I haven't received anything. Maybe they were too busy on the first day, or the mail was slow. I'm sure I'll hear from them soon. They just don't care at all. No phones, no computers, no television. It doesn't matter much during the week when I'm busy with classes, or or not. <laughs> <laughs> but on a day like today, it leaves me feeling restless. As opposed to every other day. I think I'll go outside. Ooh, let's take a walk in the gardens. It's a beautiful campus. I'm careful to stop when I want to admire something rather than keep walking and risk another collision. Good idea. But while the flowers and paved walkways are nice, what I'm really looking for is something a little more open. Hmm. Oh yeah, I do remember they had different areas we could visit. I follow the paths away from the main buildings towards grassy fields. We could play games out here if we borrowed some balls from the gym. Oh, let's not. I wonder if Virginia was serious about starting a sports team. Ugh, I think she is. Hey, I think I see her up ahead. She's talking to someone I don't know. I hurry to catch up. Ugh, not Mostly her. Mostly girls again this year, isn't it? Yeah, both my roommates are. I pause in mid-step. What is she talking about? Me and Ellen? That could be a problem eventually. 
Ellen and I both had wild magic. Is that the problem? Uh, you know what they say about assumptions, Horace. Well, maybe more of us should drop out. The other way would be more fun. <laughs> maybe for you it would. <laughs> Virginia is not pleased. The winged girl laughed. <laughs> what on earth are they talking about? They're talking about romancing. <laughs> this is silly. Spies never have anything nice. I have no idea what they're discussing, and I shouldn't try to figure it out. I'll only come up with crazy stuff. I'm just going to walk away. Great idea. Well, it's the end of one week, which wasn't really much of anything, but hey, we had a scene with Donald. Wasn't that fun? Yay. So let's see what our diary says. We'll check our diary every week. Why not? So Big we, trouble. We got in big trouble. We actually had sleep. Was this just sleep in general? We were sleeping the entire time. <laughs> yeah, we got... It was stupid, and now we have more demerits. 20 demerits now. Uh, that's kind of adding up. Hopefully you can do something about that. Yeah... So that was cool. We had a little scene with Donald. You actually don't need to do that scene with Donald because I don't think it actually does anything for your relationship with him. But it's just a nice little scene to watch and it's something I wanted to show off for this playthrough. So pretty cool, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. So in the next episode, we're going to do some more stuff. And if I remember correctly, we're going to have initiation. Oh, no. Ooh, I wonder if a certain someone will make an appearance. Mm. Uh-oh. He probably will. And we'll see what happens next time. Bye.